is Tuesday's lesson um, for those of you that are at home Zooming. So uh, there's two things that you need to do. The first one is you need to go to Schoology and open up this sheet that says map terms, all right? So the thing is, if you have a different device that you could Zoom with so you can follow along with my lesson while filling this sheet out, you can. I know some of you also know how to split your screen, so maybe you can take my lesson, which is this YouTube link, and be playing that in the corner and then having notability um, on your main screen. So if you're able to do that, that's great. Um, if not, maybe zoom your phone um, with your phone or a computer and then you can be following along while filling this out. So I'm hoping by the time I'm done talking, you're gonna be done with this assignment and then you can turn it in, all right? So again, we have um, a few questions, okay, front and back. Each one is going to have a sphere, and so you are going to be drawing within this and then writing, all right? If you have a printer, you are more than welcome to print this out and use a paper copy as well. All right, so number one, we're gonna talk about the equator. Number two, the prime meridian, all right? And then number three, latitude, number four, longitude. On the back, we are going to talk about the Tropic of Capricorn, the Tropic of Cancer, and then something called the International Dateline. And we will reference back to these a lot throughout the class, but today we're just going to learn about it. So this too is something that if you do this in Notability, I do recommend keeping it. Right, so for our first one with the equator, all right? So equator goes right across. You could just draw a line straight across. Mine's totally not straight. What you need to know with the equator is that it's zero degrees, all right? It's zero degrees latitude, which we'll be talking about in just a second here. And this is going to divide our um, Earth into the northern and southern hemisphere. So yesterday you took on that quiz, how many hemispheres does our Earth have? And we actually have four, all right? So the equator divides the north and the south. All right. Okay. Next, we have the prime meridian. I'm going to scoot ahead just a little bit. Okay, so the prime meridian, I'll use green here since it's red. So the prime meridian now is zero degrees but longitude. Okay, so this one goes straight down. Okay, straight down. And this is going to divide into the eastern, let's see, where am I? The eastern and western hemispheres, okay? So over here is the west, and then over here is the east, okay? And then if I take my equator, this is still west. We'll be working with hemispheres um, in a couple days here. Okay, moving along. So these are going to be parallel lines. Okay, parallel lines. And they are going to circle around the globe. All right, circle around the globe. Now, they measure zero degrees to 90 degrees. So just a little bit ago, I said that our equator 
was zero degrees. All right, so zero degrees. And what it's going to do is it's going to measure zero to 90 degrees. All right, and then of course this is north. And then we're gonna measure zero to 90 degrees. All right, so these lines are also called latitude lines, okay? Latitude. So it's measured between the equator and then the parallel, the distance in between them, zero degrees into 90. So I almost think of like you're climbing up a ladder, okay, or you're climbing down a ladder. And so if you're going up, you know, I think north, and then if you're climbing down that ladder, you're going to go south, all right? So again, the key here that you need to know, zero degrees, 90 degrees north and south okay north and south and again the equator is a line of latitude okay parallel line at zero degrees okay so so far you should have number one filled in number two filled in and number three filled in all right moving on to number four here these lines are called meridian. So I just got done explaining for number two, okay, the prime meridian, it's a meridian line. So these are vertical lines that stretch, okay? They're also called longitudes. So I think they're long lines that stretch and they go around the earth, okay? So, even though, and this is where it gets so confusing, because you look at these lines and you're like, oh, they go north to south. They do, but they measure east to west, all right? And I think this is the most difficult thing that a lot of students um, go through. So our zero degrees is our prime meridian. Meridian zero degrees, all right, and then these lines go all the way around the globe till they get to the other side, all right, and they wrap back around. So they go from zero degrees to 180 degrees. So there's more, all right, there's more of them wrapping around. All right, so like I said, these lines are also called longitude lines, and I think that they're they're long, and it takes, or there is, not that it takes longer, I mean, it does, but you know, around the globe, all right? So latitude, I think the latter, north and south, longitude, I think the longer the lines, and they wrap around zero to 180, okay? East, east and west, all right, and then again, the prime meridian is our zero degrees. All right, so Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer. This is more something Mrs. Vagley is going to talk about in class, so I'm just going to bring it up, but we really don't bring um, these two lines up. Um, but since we're talking about lines and on our earth and globe, um, they're important to mention. So again, here is our equator. Okay, so here is our equator. And we are south, okay? We're south 23 and a half degrees south is the Tropic of Capricorn, all right? Pretty much this is going to be our winter solstice, all right? So if you want to be technical, it's where the sun is directly overhead at noon on December 21st. So then that means that the Tropic of Cancer, all right, so again, here's our equator. All right, and this one's going to be north, and it is 23 and a half degrees north, and this is where the sun is overhead at noon on June 21st, which is our summer solstice. Again, that's way more for Mrs. Vagley's class. Okay, so I told you that the prime meridian is zero, right? 
and we're going to loop around the earth, zero to 180. So when do you switch from heading east to then heading west? Well, you will switch when you get to the international date line, all right? So this international date line, this is my 180 degrees. So prime meridian is zero, international date line is 180 degrees. Now, if you notice, this line is not straight. It's not straight for a reason. You can have the equator straight, you can have your prime meridian straight, and you can, and there's observatories, especially for the prime meridian, um, you can like stand on this imaginary line and you can be in the western and eastern hemisphere at the same time. Nothing's you know, it, it'd just be cool, put on your bucket list, but nothing's gonna happen, okay? You can stand too on the equator in some areas, okay? And be in the northern and southern hemisphere. The international date line though, they cannot have it go through land, or at least land where people live, because this is the calendar date change. So you cannot have this imaginary line going through land and be like, well, today is Monday over here, but then if I cross the line, it's going to be Tuesday. That would cause way too much headache. So this international date line is in the ocean, okay? It's in the ocean. I don't know if any of you have traveled and you've flown over it. They'll tell you that they're flying over the international date line and that's when the calendar changes, okay? So again, it's crooked, so it does not go through any land. And again, this is 180 degrees longitude, okay, because it's the longer one. And again, it is responsible for changing the calendar date. All right, we should have covered everything on there. If you have questions, all right, um, you can request to join the Zoom and I can Zoom with you or you can send me an email. You can send me an email on my Gmail account or you can send me an email on Schoology and let me know if you have any questions. This is due tomorrow, all right, at the beginning of class. So if you are done right now, you need to turn it in. Again, if you are in Notability, you need to then share the note under other apps. Okay, there's I think four steps you need to do into Schoology, into this assignment. If you take a picture of it on paper, please do not screenshot what you have because I've only been getting one side. Um, but if you printed this out, you can take a picture of both sides and then turn it in. All right, thanks you guys.